Hi there, it's Denise, denisesanger.com and howtostayfitover50.com. Um, also, Healthy After 50 with Denise on Facebook and right here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Anyways, this is video two about the um, issues I'm having with the osteoarthritis in my hips. You could see, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm in a hotel room, actually, and surgery is scheduled for two days from now. And it took me a while to wrap my brain around this um, because when you stay active and you kind of try to take care of yourself as best that you can, you don't really expect to, as for me, especially as a yoga teacher, I know my body to have to deal with hip replacement surgery was not really something that I expected in my life, I'm gonna be honest with you. Now, what I had mentioned in the last video is that for me, um, I believe it's a direct, a direct result of my hysterectomy. And the funny thing now is I've been off of all pain meds for the past six days because they wanted me off of them for seven days. Tomorrow's pre-op and then surgery is the day after. But I've been off now and I can tell you that just about every joint in my body hurts. You can see I also don't have makeup on. I'm not sleeping very well right now. And the I was on Meloxicam, Advil, uh, Tylenol that sort of thing and I haven't taken any of that now in several days and let me tell you everything hurts my shoulders hurt my knees hurt I can hardly walk which I wasn't expecting that so all this time I was thinking maybe the meloxicam and everything else they had me on wasn't working well it turns out it definitely was working because now I know that I'm off of it um, I'm in a lot of pain so anyways if one person reach it, re hears this message before a hysterectomy, make sure, please make sure you talk to your doctor. My doctor didn't believe in doing any kind of hormones after my surgery, and I think that was a big mistake. Now, um, if you've been with me any length of time, you know that I had a complete hysterectomy. Everything, ovaries, uterus, and my cervix is even gone. There's nothing in there. So because I wasn't on any type of hormones for, my surgery was when I was 53 and I'm now 60, I'll be 62 this year, so about almost 10 years later. But I didn't even try hormones until probably four or five years ago. And it was my gyne my new gynecologist that re recommended that I give him a shot. And I honestly wish I would have done so, so sooner. And the other thing that if you do have a hysterectomy, I want you to know, to please make sure you're checking your vitamin D because after my hysterectomy, unknowing to me, um, I ended up very, very dangerously low in my vitamin D that they had to put me on 10,000 IUs of that to get me up to where I was supposed to be. And now I remain on 5,000 IUs daily, except not this week because I'm not anything this week. So anyways, I will keep you posted how this all goes um, today, this, this surgery will be my left complete hip replacement surgery. And then I'm supposed to also have the right done. I'm not sure when that's going to happen. But first of all, when if you are up for hysterectomy in any way, shape or form, please talk to your doctor and please seriously have a discussion with them about hormones because the research that I'm doing with a complete hysterectomy, now if you don't have a complete hysterectomy, if you still have your ovaries, that's a whole different ball game. But if you're having a complete hysterectomy like I did, um, it will affect your hormones. And why they don't talk to you about this, it blows my mind. So that's probably a very good reason um, to keep following this after the hysterectomy surgery. I mean, after the hysterectomy series, I honestly wasn't expecting to still be doing this this long into my journey, but you know, new things keep popping up and I wanna make sure that you guys know what's going on. So I'll keep you posted. I will chit chat with you after my surgery. In the meantime, I hope you're doing wonderful. 
And once this is all behind me, I will be doing the online gentle flow yoga because that's been my saving grace for sure. One of the best things I ever did was make sure that I incorporate yoga into my life daily. And you know, I'm a yoga teacher and there's certain yoga that I completely believe is the best for us as we age. Watch for the next video. Hopefully next week after surgery, I'll be giving you an update. But again, the main point of this, this is a second of two. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this here, but the main point of this video, if you are having a hysterectomy, especially if you're having a complete hysterectomy as I did, please, 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 talk to your doctor about hormones, especially starting them immediately after your hysterectomy. If, you're, if they're taking your ovaries, you need to have that conversation. Don't let them push you off because the more I research, the more I personally, I'm not a doctor, but the more I personally believe this is a direct result of my complete hysterectomy and no hormone, no hormones for many years, all right? Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and share button, and I'll be back after surgery. Bye, y'all. Denise out.